please check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, I'm Capo Special. It was me, uh, Dry Camp in Spanish. It originally was called Oregon City, but there was more Spanish-speaking people, so they changed their names. It was settled in 1849 by the Mexicans who worked uh, the places. Also, they found copper here, and also you have uh, oak tree uh, quartz for the white bottles. They drilled those things out. And here are some remains of it. So we're going to start the other side, and then we'll move down to the right end. So a little ways down, I got a little more, it's more a farm valley like cows. I'm not sure that will hold though, that was been there. It's kind of like a cool little fountain thing. You know, it's the little river back in the day. That used to be part of the town, I think. The only thing really left of the town is the stagecoach area, kind of a trading area. I think they rebuilt it over the time. Now it's, you know, trespassing. Let's check it out. The remains of the hangout spot. I found some more pictures. Yeah, this used to be the trading center back in the day. You have to keep it up in the rocks. <laughs> yeah, they tried and failed. It's like one of the few buildings might be left from the town. So that's where I talk about the intro right there. So I'm going to walk down. There are only a few buildings left. Yeah, at one point, you know, this is part of the gold rush, and they are, it was copper they found. And then around, I guess, eight, around 1920, it kind of came really dead, and then a bunch of farmlands was created here. But the thing about the history of this, you know, who knows what kind of stories these walls could tell or what kind of shootouts. I saw some pictures on the internet. I did play earlier to intro. Yeah, the only thing left are a bunch of. No, oh, they're kind of smart to build these things like that in the, around here because of fire. But the problem is there's some faults lying. Of course, you have in California in different places. They're already scrubbing your faults. So I'm not sure these are, these are good earthquake proof. They're still standing. Uh, remains. I bet you used to have these uh, copper doors to close. And you see a little outside area right there. Who knows? What these buildings used to be two stories, three stories? Who knows? It's just a mystery. See, I was telling you earlier. This is what they look like, the copper doors. You have arrived. I right, thank you. I could go over that fence without problem, but it's not really not as much to see, it's not really worth it. You know, those people are watching you, they'll call for the shoe up on you. Yeah, there's not really much around. After this point, we got some houses. We got this right here. Looks like it's been pissed off. Maybe with a well. That one. So, yeah, I got the old well. Hmm. Yeah, it used to be a dry camp. Back day, it was in North Oregon town, but you know, they didn't like the name. Right now, it's 
my balance. So yeah, so like and subscribe, baby. I will do a better job next time. Well, that brass. But it's kind of cool. At one point, this is how they used to protect their buildings. You know, it's got no detector. You know, what kind of cool stuff I'll find over time. Yeah, but there's some pictures I found the mining. But there's not too many videos of this. Here's a quick little tour of history right here. Over time. So as I drive in some more abandoned buildings, so I guess it used to be part of the town back in the day. Like little shacks, you know, the kind of stories they have for us to tell. But machine there's like a lot of like machine, like that little creek. Yeah, I guess the last part of the town I guess. Yeah, the other side of our stores, and this is, I guess this used to be the neighborhood, maybe. But I'd be wrong as always. Been half my life being wrong. That used to be the outhouse. the outhouse or part of it. I'm gonna be too far. Like and subscribe. Everybody do very next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.